Let's have a warm welcome for honorary founding mother and president emerita of the Ms. Foundation for Women, Marie C. Wilson. I spend my days trying to do you right, but you've been this is, a, is this a great organization or what? Oh. God, where am I? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. I, I'm on it now. All right. Good evening. <laughs> Stand closer to the mic, Marie. Good evening. <laughs> Each year, it is my honor to recognize an emerging leader, a young feminist who represents the next generation of leadership <laughs> as it fights for gender equity. This year's Marie C. Wilson Emerging Leader Honoree is a woman who in her work, her unique perspective, and her love for storytelling is promoting the ideas of feminism through strong women leads and showing the power to the world of more diverse and inclusive narratives. Tonight, I introduce to you a living superhero, <laughs> a dynamic woman whose work over the past decade has helped create and develop a space for women girls and people of color to see themselves not just as powerful but as superheroes she is yeah woo. she is the vice president of content and character development at marvel entertainment yes suna aminin applause <laughs> this Jersey, this Jersey native, a graduate of Barnard College, <laughs> once aspired to be a lawyer, but Sonan's career took a more magical turn when she joined Marvel as a comic book editor, working on some of what are now the world's best known superheroes, including a female Captain Marvel. I saw the movie and loved it with my granddaughter. It was great. And the first Afro Latino Spider Man. But she may be best known for co creating Marvel's first Muslim American woman superhero. Kamala Khan Aka, Ms. Marvel quickly gained worldwide media attention and sparked excitement and dialogue about identity in the Muslim American narrative. She had a hand in bringing Ms. Marvel to um, animation in her role as executive producer of Marvel Rising, an animation franchise featuring a young, diverse group of Marvel heroes, many of whom are women and people of color. Honored, yes. <laughs> Honored as Marie Claire, excuse me, honored as Marie Claire's 2016 New Guard of America's 50 Most Influential Women, as well as featured in Vogue's 2018 American Women Special, and even representing Marvel Entertainment to President Obama and the White House. We made it to the White House. <laughs> Suna continues to push the boundaries of diverse narratives to ensure that all people can see an authentic and genuine representation of themselves in popular culture. Please join me in congratulations for this year's Maurice Wilson Emerging Leader Honoree, a superhero completely to me, for my grandchildren, to us all, to sue her, for her, and give her a warm welcome. Isan Aman. Please welcome to the stage the Vice President of Content and Character Development at Marvel Entertainment, Sana Amane. Wow, uh, that was incredible. Thank you so, so, so much for that uh, amazing introduction. I gotta say, I might have introduced Barack Obama, but Obama has nothing on this room. Ah. <laughs> Pretty incredible. 
Um, so I just want to say thank you to the Miss Foundation for this really incredible honor. I can't believe I'm up here. A very special thank you to the great, and I would say the original superhero herself, Gloria Steinem. Yes. <laughs> Um, as well as Teresa Younger and all the powerhouse folks working with her in this room. Um, and a special shout out to Angelique Rocher for championing the power of comics in an unexpected place. So she's doing such amazing work behind the scenes right now. Um, just to be in the room with all of you accomplished aspiring women is just absolutely amazing and terrifying. Um, Marie, you in particular, you are a barrier breaker. You are the reason that so much of us are here because you actually broke down those doors for us. So thank you. Just having an award with your name on it is truly exhilarating. So thank you for all of your work. Um, I also wanted to give a very special shout out and thank you to my allies and friends at Marvel and at Disney for allowing me to do the work that I do and accepting it and pushing me forward, particularly um, G. Willow Wilson, Stephen Wacker, Adrian Alfona. They're my fellow collaborators um, on a lot of the work, particularly Ms. Marvel, and they're my personal heroes. Um, so I appreciate this award so much for many reasons, more than anyone can realize. Because guys, I made a career making comics. Comic books. They just got cool like 10 minutes ago. I don't think anyone besides like the fellow nerds really understood or really even cared. And I don't think really anyone until a few years ago really knew what Marvel was all about. Um, it was considered a brand for boys by boys. No one really expected a short brown girl like me who would have a, would have a job at one of like the biggest comic book companies in the world, um, much less a seat at the big man's table. And um, I don't think my parents actually really even understood what I was doing. My mom's like, comics? What are comics? <laughs> Be a lawyer. Now she gets it. Now she gets it. <laughs> but I will say the thing that they instilled in me was the idea of, of making sure you're doing something good in whatever you do. And I remember my dad telling me, no matter whatever you decide to do, make sure that you are helping people. And so when I first got a job at Marvel, I was like, how do I do that with comics? And I realized that the thing about comics and superheroes, the thing that makes me so excited and fall in love with them was this idea of the fact that my diversity is actually a superpower. That was the first place I realized it. It truly allowed me to embrace something that society had told me was not good and bad, particularly as a young Muslim woman. So when Ms. Marvel was born, a young Muslim American superhero, it spurred this dialogue about representation, about showing young girls a mirror of themselves, and reflecting black back is that greatness that is, exists within themselves. I saw young folks of all backgrounds making their own Ms. Marvel costumes. I saw tears in their mother's eyes when they told me what it means to have a character like that for their children. I saw the power of art affecting culture in a positive way. I felt the responsibility of being a storyteller. I felt the love ripple in a global community that all stems from the creation of a young, powerful girl from Jersey. <laughs> Who just happened to be Muslim. Kamala Khan is a success because she embodies so much of what the women in this room embody. She lives in light, in the light of defiance and love. She continually breaks everyone's expectations of her. And she does it stretching her hands, stretching her entire being 
and bringing people in. We need someone like her now more than ever. And I've already seen it, I'm already seeing it happen today, particularly with young women of color. They have so much power that they've activated within themselves. And I just hope that someone like this character, I hope that Ms. the Miss Foundation continues to support that work because it's incredibly hopeful and amazing what they're about to do. So I hope to continue to follow in their footsteps, in Kamala's footsteps, like I also hope to follow in all of yours. I'm actually going to accept this award with humility and gratitude, and I'm taking it as a challenge to defy, to always love, to never lose sight of what matters, to help people, and to build up women around the world as all of you have done and continue to do. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.